region with a with an icy is an I. Everyone lives in a region with a nest. Yes, every so. region has a nest. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So I'm super excited to talk about this, see how this goes. I like that they're starting on Stadium. This is a pretty classic place to start, especially for this matchup. Uh, Ness really likes having those two platforms, and Ice Climbers really like having uh, the Blast Zones be very close to the stage. Not only that, but because Ice go off the top so often in this game, uh, the SQ's C rate is a really big benefit for them here. All right, well, they're getting right on into it. It's going to be Aki rocking the Ness versus Tech Boy, Ooh. rocking the ICs. He's got a grab, and he doesn't hit the spike. Now, there's different timings on that spike, depending on if you're getting it from a run animation, from a standing grab, from a handoff. You just got to make sure that you're getting the right one so you get that spike hitbox. Yeah, and right now they're just going at it near the ledge. Nice backer is going to separate Popo and Nana. Nana is way out there. The ice block actually saves her, and Tech Boy able to turn it around. He's got an edge guard situation. Can he finish it? Double back, you're not quite enough, but yep. no jump for Ness. Okay, Aki's going to need to try to recover from horizontal or a little bit above, or else those ice blocks can rain down and snipe that out. Yeah, that angle is very, very difficult for Ness. As you said, he wants to go horizontal, but horizontal might actually be the hardest angle for Ness to do, surprisingly. For sure, yeah. Oh! oh! It's both of them with it, too! Yeah, that was a little bit, little bit goofy because <laughs> Nana fell off. Tech Boy trying to do some kind of interesting offstage tech. Nana mm -hmm. fell off, and that actually extended the hitbox for Ness's down air. So when Tech Boy ran out, he also got hit. All right, oh. saves her. Just... And there's that ice block again. He saved his jump, though, really nicely done, but he is going to go down to the F smash. All right, trying to fish it out. Yep. PK Fire is kind of a difference maker in this matchup. It's actually your only solid neutral tool. Right. As we already have the yep. down throw there. Great SDI from Aki to get out of there. But yeah, you're going to see a lot of PK Fire. He's got Nana off stage. Gets the down air. No, he doesn't go for it. He had oh. the opportunity to kill Nana. He's probably not. I don't think Aki's very used to this matchup. He's not aware that Nana DI is hard in on all combos. You can do yeah. things like forward air to down air, forward air to nair, are super easy to hit. He just wasn't ready for it. Tech Boy might be good at PM, but Nana is not. Yes, Na absolutely. Nana will DI everything wrong. Ooh, that was a great rise in there, actually. It pops him up. Nana and that's what you need. Dies. Yeah, the forward air to up air, and he's going to be able to get rid of Popo here, potentially. Can he finish this edge guard? Nice movement from Tech Boy, but it won't be enough. Ness can, yeah, Ness can do that. Wow, oh, but he that was, rift was actually so good. Uh, Aki should have been closer to the ledge. He had everything covered with that F tilt, but he just wasn't in the right spot. All I also right. don't see a lot of magnet coming out from Aki. Approaching magnet is actually really strong against ice climbers because it puts you at a really weird angle they're not used to, but it doesn't seem to matter. He good does down. get in there, down tilt to up air. One of those good kill confirms you can get as Ness versus Ices. It's pretty well on the floaties. All right, trying to edge guard in here. Just rain the ice down from above. That happens a lot. If you're holding on the ledge too long, Ness is just going to pound through. And that was kind of weird because... does get messed up by it. Yeah, it was Nana who got hit. And yep. that's the only reason Tech Boy got hit. Doesn't matter, though. Down throw, up smash, or maybe that was F throw, up smash. Either way, get grabbed by Ices at over 100. You're probably dead as Ness. Yep, especially on this stage. Low ceiling's really going to do it. And look at the damage Tech Boy is able to pull on with double aerials. He goes for the forward air this time. He gets the re-grab. He does oh, it again. Oh, he goes for it again. I'd say at low percent, it does work as uh, somewhat of a tech chase mix up, but. Ooh, okay, does save her. Yeah, but that you're. That was like the furthest away. You should not be throwing Ness towards Nana. Oh, but the PK fire yeah. interrupts the up B. Nice job by Aki to interrupt that so Nana doesn't end up saving Popo. Tech Boy still has a nice lead here. Can he finish it? Or has Aki maybe just found a way to claw himself back into this game? Jeez, Nana almost destroyed him there. Tech Boy's really good at not only controlling Nana off the ledge, but controlling exactly like the parabolic arc she's going at. He's one of the best in the game at it. And Tech Boy's starting to get, he's starting to fish for stuff. He's getting antsy, and Aki is very clearly capitalizing. Tech Boy has not been able to put on a hit in so long, but oh. down smash is all he needs. He just needed one. Tech Boy's gonna take game one. Aki started going for Nana there, and Tech Boy just snuck right behind him. Right, that was actually a lot closer than I think most people would have expected. This oh, totally no. I, I think, think Tech Boy's going to win, but I think the way Aki plays Ness, and he was figuring it out at the end right. there. Right, yeah, yeah. The no, way I'm you really hit excited. buttons on Tech Boy's shield, the way you hit buttons around Tech Boy will be the difference maker if he can make the adjustments. Like that. This is what he needs to be doing if he wants to beat Ice Climbers. 
And it's a lot of the weaving in and out, a lot of PK fire. Uh, because Nana's shield goes up a little bit slower than Popo, a lot of times PK fire will edge out and clip one of them. And when you drop shield, it clips the other. Three grabs. Oh. Yes, nice All use right. of the invincibility from Tech Boy to just continue to rack on the damage. He wanted the straight up hitbox from Dash Attack so that he could send him up with the play afterwards. That's going to clean him up. Yeah, one thing Tech Boy is starting to figure out in Aki is that Tech Boy's starting to cover. Ooh, that was very nicely done by Aki. Didn't even let, give me a chance to finish my thought. I was going to say in neutral, Tech Boy's starting to figure out where Aki is standing and moving a lot. Tech Boy can cover that with that bursty wave dash into jab and then get so many confirms off of it. Right now, they're just continuing to reset to neutral. Aki keeping this much closer than he did in game one. And you're seeing the back airs fly out. That is exactly what Ness needs to do. There's not a lot that Ices can do about that. Yeah, Tech was trying to go up with some of his faster aerials, uh, throwing out up airs and bears. But if Aki's good about it, he's weaving and out of that range. Double jump cancel is really strong in this matchup. And he's not going deep enough. He's trying to put hitboxes against Tech Boy near the ledge. But Ness can actually go out there and hit Popo. Because Popo has oh! to recover with Nana. If that was Wings fantastic. Up, takes the lead for the first time in this set. And it's that unrelenting aggression that Aki's starting to show, making the difference here. That All up right. smash, yeah, he's crabbed at 80. You're still dead. Evens it up. And this is uh, best of three. So this is still if, uh, oh, best of five. I sorry. Say, I thought all top 32 was best of five. Yep. So this could just be even 1-1, one, one, make the rest of the set a best of three. Although we have an early grab, doesn't get the follow-up on the platform, instead goes for forward air. And the Pukaki went just a little bit too high, DI'd well for it. He's got him separated here, decides not to put the damage onto Nana, that could have been huge. Oh, but that's going to be massive, a PK fire right on top of both of them. Aki's got him off stage. Yep, anytime they're separated, it's really good to target switch to Nana. Obviously for like regular Ice Climbers reasons, but also because if she's separated or on fire or anything like that, it does make it way harder for him to get back. Tech Boy just, oh, he just took a gummy shark <laughs> on his last stock. He's like, this is how I'm going to have to do it, I guess. Mid-game gummy shark. Let's see if it powers him up a little bit. Oh, and again, I mean, he, he almost had that, yeah. He called out the dash away, but now there's no jump. This should be death if he can get there. No, he doesn't. Oh, that was a phenomenal angle. Yeah, that's that's what we call an Aki angle, and he's dead. Yep. Wow, he, two stock. So when I said earlier that Popo can be vulnerable if Aki goes way down there to the edge guard, mm -hmm. you can also drop a PK fire on Nana as she comes and up. And it falls down. And then yep. it falls down onto Popo on his way back up, which is what Aki's been doing for that setup over and over. Now he's just getting more consistent at it as the game goes on. This should have been banned by Aki. I don't know why we're here. Yeah. This is a great, great Ice Icy's Climber stage. Nine times out of 10, this is Icy's best stage in almost any matchup. Yeah, uh, maybe Wario Land was banned? I'm not really sure. Yeah. But even then, I think Wario Land would have been better. I'll be really impressed if Aki can still take this, though, given the stage disadvantage. Yep. Because there's no wobble on the table, it's PM. Uh, the fact that this doesn't have, it has just the one tiny swinging platform, a lot of the time in the game, it's like FD, but shorter, so you can get to the ledge faster and get those guaranteed follow-ups instead of the ones where up throw is going in. And there it is, that's the down air we were talking about earlier exactly. that he should be going for on Nana. She doesn't tech, she doesn't DI, she is just dead in the water as soon as you can get that confirmed. Ness has such an easy time killing Nana, and now, with, every time he gets rid of Nana, he kills Popo like less than 10 seconds later. Aki's been so good about that. And Tech Boy is a good Popo. Like, that's just Aki playing really well. That should right. death. Yeah, there we that's go. That's the one disadvantage on the stage. The ceiling's a little high. But even if you grab, it just means you're not killing Ness at 80 like you were in Stadium. You're killing him at 100. <gasps> as Tech Boy accidentally SDs. I think he thought it was going to get synced up and the fire caught Nana. Yeah, PK Fire, like we said, coming in really strong in this matchup. And Tech Boy's kind of getting caught jumping into a lot of this stuff. Ness doesn't really win. Oh! Yeah, that was a wow. phenomenal recovery from Tech Boy, staying alive through that second air. Literally, he just back aired four times in a row. I mean, Tech Boy needs to know what isn't safe here and how he can combat that. He needs to put out more blizzards. He needs to put out more blocks. I Ness can make him. this back, yep. but all right, good stuff holding yep. the ledge this time. Wow, Aki's kind of playing out of his mind. This is really good. I know Tech Boy just evened up the stocks, but this has looked like it's in Aki's favor on what is probably the best stage for Ices in the matchup. 
Oh, he had to go for a side B this time. Naki wasn't there to punish, but he's already Nana's got him separated. Dead. That's yeah. a dead Nana. Nana's dead, and because, because of the way Aki positioned himself off stage, Techboy wasn't able to go and save her. All right, this time maybe we'll see the Popo. No, we will not. Nope. The back here coming through. Aki taking that lead back again. All right, well, it's actually evened it up. He yep. was down a full stock earlier. Remember, he SD'd Twice. in this yep. game. So this is actually a lot closer than I would have expected. If Tech Boy can somehow bring this back, he only needs one grab. That's the one the one thing on Green Hill Zone that we haven't seen him take advantage of is if he can grab him just about anywhere. Well, it's going to see if this does it. He keeps going for the forward air tech chase reads. Yeah, it's he saw Aki uh, SDI one of the down throw dares. That's some bad DI. Nana is actually alive somehow. And the weight, the movement. I can't believe he's still going. <laughs> Nana's just dead. Wow. But yeah, no, Aki SDI had one of those down throw dares, and Techway has not gone for it nearly as much since Not that. since, yeah. Oh, good movement. That was a bold landing. Holy crap. And the four. Oh, oh my spike! goodness, what a finish. I can't believe that spike connected. Down throw fair is true. And because Ness doesn't have a good double jump, it's hard for him to get out of situations like that. So Tech Boy said, all right, I have to go for this for the win. And he clutches it out. We're going to game four on Smashville. Wow, yeah. I'm shocked that it ended that way. The that fact is that a bold you, read. You have to assume how the person's going to be DI'ing the down throw. Right. This is kind of the opposite of what I expected. Usually in this situation, Ness wants to be the one dropping stuff from above. Oh, That's nice combo there, yes. You said he was going for all these down throw forward air follow-ups. This time the forward air sends Ness up, and Ness doesn't really have the ability to get out of combos like that easily, so he has to eat the up B. Oh, Tech Boy actually dropping a really free chain grab right there. You can chain grab just with Sopo and Ness for quite a while, actually. Yeah, it, it's like three or four grabs. But it, it, you do have to react to the DI, and it gets a little bit harder if Ness DI's in. Yeah, at that point, some people will just opt for an up smash. Nana's dead. Aki's been so good at killing Nana early off stage. And there, there's that solo Squall Hammer, which is so strong in PM. And finally, Tech Boy finding a way in between the back airs from Aki. This won't be a kill unless he gets this up air. Oh, the b balloon actually extending the hitbox, letting Aki get in there. Ooh, no double jump for Tech Boy. Hit. Yeah, and can he get the. No, he misses the finish. Tech Boy has really started to adapt to how Aki's moving around in neutral. That downer definitely going to seal the deal Tech every Boy time. He keeps taking gummies between stocks. It's <laughs> like the fourth one he's taken. <laughs> oh, this is a grab near the ledge. He's not even going to go for the ledge handoffs. No. He already has the up smash. Tech Boy with some phenomenal adaptation. Above like 95, that's still gonna kill on Ness. Who just holds the ledge on Nana, and Tech Boy accidentally gets side B instead of up B. He was trying to save her there. Wow, grabbing Ness when Ness grabs you. The only reason that connected is because Ness's hands were out. And Tech Boy now not getting combo. That's also super important as Sopo. Ness is a combo machine, and the fact that you normally have two characters out makes it so much more difficult for him to do that. Oh, uh, why did he DI in? Yeah. If he DI'd away, that actually wasn't confirmed. He could not get that up there. I wonder if some of the moving platform messed him up on that. Yeah, probably. And we see Aki no longer relying on just spamming the back air because Tech Boy has started to find ways around it. Yeah, Tech Boy's calling out his movement, but that means Aki's starting to use more projectiles. Wow, that was just pressure. Holy crap. Nice by Aki. He can't finish it quite yet, but that is at least a dead Nana. Let's see if he can clean it up. Gotta finish your food. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, oh, there it is. That's what he needed to do in that last game is get that wiggle out of tumble into air dodge. Tech Boy needs to find a way to end this stock with just Sopo because he is even on percent and stock. This is the wave land. And you're, you see Aki looking for EX Fire right now. He's one of the best people at it, but it is frame perfect. Yep, that's when the fire just goes straight forward. Oh, this could be death, actually. Oh, not quite enough fantastic DI from Tech Boy, who just needs to make it back to the ledge. Wow, that was like the pixel length there. And that upbeat does not go far when you're solo. That's going to take him off the top. This Popo is out to play. Yes, down throw into whatever you want is a confirm on Ness, even with just Popo. 
play, and Aki gets the back throw. We're down to last stock. Tech Boy could take the set right here, or Aki could take it to a game five. It all comes down to this. One grab from Tech Boy may seal the deal, but Aki can split him up now. Yeah. Oh Aki's no, he gets grabbed. Tech Boy doesn't have a good follow up off the middle of the stage there. Get some percent. He's by the ledge, and that's an up smash. That's it. Yep. Tech Boy able to secure the finish. That nice. was like. Yeah, Aki actually was playing that really well. If he clean up a couple small things, I think we would see an entirely different set. Yeah, no, this it, it's this is yep. one of those matchups that is very hard for Ness because of things like you get hit a few times and then you're grabbing.